going to start by producing a flip chart that has questions in it for use with active vote start from scratch opening a new flip chart and then writing in using the text tool our first question how many fives can you take away from 25 we'll also produce some answers in order to put the answers in correctly we need to have labels a B and C and we also need to put three answers in and three answers are one five and none I've arranged these answers so that they're all in a nice neat column so that they're easy to see what we must do now is tell Active Studio that we've got a question on this page right click on anywhere on the page select menu active vote question settings at the moment there is no question on this page from the drop down box pick the pre-prepared option pick the question type we've got a multiple choice with three answers the correct answer is a you can only take one five from 25 and we set a timeout for the question to be answered in 20 seconds you can see the question is already in the box in the middle of the um, toolbar we need to put some labels in the labels are A, B and C the answers 1, 5 and none we can now save that by pressing OK and we will save the flip chart in my flip charts I'll call it training June 08 active vote questions press save we're now going to set up the active vote pods with the registered users first we need to open up the flip chart that we've just created opening up from my flip charts it's called training June 08 which is here when we open up the flip chart we should end up with the active vote session window which shows that we've got an active vote question in here if we click on users towards the bottom right we should get the user device allocation window we want to allocate name devices to users we want to open up the Minstalk Maths database we do want to remove previous users they may not be the same as the class we're using today open up the folder in this case called tutor groups because in there we have the math staff and then select the group all the math staff appear on the right hand side we'll mark Anne-Marie as absent because she's not here today and then we'll click on exit at the bottom left to save that information just check that we've got the right number of users and check that the users in the box are the correct ones and then select OK bringing up the flip chart again and we're ready to start voting and so now we're ready to vote clicking on the right hand side here starts the active vote session along the top of the page all the names of the people taking part and a countdown timer giving a certain amount of time for people to answer the question people now vote and in the case of Mr Fitzgerald he's voted either D, E or F meaning that he's actually got the answer incorrect since there are only A, B's and C's possible Mrs Gilmore's chosen a valid option once everybody's voted if you've got another question set it will transfer to that question in this case we only got the first question so it's now time to see the results we can choose this option show voting results and we get a pie chart showing that 36.4% of us got the answer correct, the rest were incorrect. Naming and shaming, using the who answered what option, we can see that James, Craig, Leslie and Ruth got the answer correct. We can also see the overall scores, 100% in the case of the people that got it correct, and zero for those that didn't. We can also check a red and green option, and response times to see 
who answered the quickest. In this case, it was Simon Fitzgerald, but unfortunately, he got the answer incorrect. <laughs>